Welcome guys. So this is my third video about the uh, uh, challenge problems in the probability. And uh, this problem is very trivial, uh, but uh, I think this is in, uh, important to uh, the further discussion and uh, further problems. So I want to talk about this. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, I... Okay, so... Uh, and uh, make a thumbs up. So today I want to talk about trials on the first success. This is uh, easy problem. On average p, how many times must be must a die be thrown until one gets a six? So on average, okay. Okay, so I think this problem is very easy. Okay, so uh, what we need to compute is the how many times that one can get success for six. Okay. Uh, but we can make it general. So suppose a uh, uh, a trial has success uh, probability p, and we want to ask the expectation value of how many times that you can success, uh, how how many times that you average will see one success. And the book basically, uh, you can check my other videos. My other videos talk about how to get the continuous the n success. Okay. So, but in this video, uh, we just use this. So it's very simple. Uh, suppose you success first time, then you have one over p. Oh, sorry, you have probability p, then you success. And the uh, the another case is you get one minus p because you fail, but you uh, you success in a second time, and uh, times two. So this is because you're there second, or you success twice. Uh, you you have failed twice and you success. So times three, or you s you or you fail three times, then uh, then at fourth time you success. So you times four. Also, so basically all we need to do is just compute uh, this infinite sum. So compute it, uh, it's very easy that I just use uh, one minus p times e. So the first one uh, I write it as this this way. I write it as one minus p plus p times p, and this one uh, I just times one minus p. So I get one minus p squared p p. And this one, I get a uh, one minus p cube three p, and I minus this. Okay, so left hand side is just p e. The right hand side, the first thing is p, and the second thing I use least term minus least term, so I get the uh, p one minus p, and I use least term minus least term. I guess one minus p square uh p, and uh, I guess one minus p to cube p. Keep going. So what we have is what? What we have is p uh, 1 plus 1 minus p, 1 minus p square, and uh, 1 minus p to the cube. Okay, so uh, what we have is pe equals to 1 plus, uh, let me recall. Okay, so it's p times 1 minus p plus 1 minus s p square. Okay. And uh, remember the the geometry series have this identity if r is absolute value of r is less than one. Okay, so what we have is p one minus one minus p. So we have p e. So the expectation value is just one over p. And uh, basically, this is the in, uh, intuition results that uh, suppose you only get. So uh, you can you can think of as you do uh, done many times then. If you done, uh, if you did very large times, then on average, uh, each p, uh, each one over p times, then you will get one numbers, uh, one success. So this is the answer, and uh, this result is very important that we will solve another problem called coupon problems in the, in the other videos, and uh, basically, uh, I will, uh, you can see my other videos, uh, basically you can prove, uh, you can prove. Uh, the expectation value of n continuous success. So that means how ma how many times you want to get the uh, uh, continuous two uh, two six conti n continuous times uh, success. The expectation value is just one over p one over p square and keep going. Go to one over p to n. So one can general uh, one can generalize this result into this formula. And uh, but I will not talk into this. You can check my other videos, and uh, I hope you guys like it. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next interesting videos. Thank you.